Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on guys? Back in the garage today working on my 2021 KTM 890 Adventure R. In today's video, I'm going to upgrade the steering stabilizer on the bike and show you how to remove the stock one and then kind of explain why I'm doing it, how the stock one works, how the aftermarket one works, all those sorts of things. Additionally, as we are going through this project, this bike, I'm not the original owner, I'm the second owner, and some bar risers were already installed, which is gonna make this job a little bit easier, but I will link all those parts, everything I use in today's video down in the description below to make it a little bit easier for you, but uh, let's hop into it. All right, so if we take a look down here on the front of the bike, you see this arm right here in this 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, this is part of the steering stabilizer. I'm going to try to get you a couple of angles, but we are going to end up removing this bolt and then down underneath here, there are two other bolts we need to remove. There's just three bolts to get this thing off the bike, so let me show you. got the bolt uh, that, that goes in there on the uh, the fork clamp taken out. All right, so hopefully you guys can see back in here. We've got another bolt right there where my finger is, and then there's another one on the other side. I'm going to try to get in there with a ratchet wrench. Uh, you could also remove the front fork if you want to. I'm just, or not the front fork, but the front fender if you want to. I'm just being a little lazy today. I'm going to see if I can get it with a ratchet wrench. All right, so the ratchet wrench actually worked just fine. We do have this other bolt over here on this side. You can see right, if this thing would ever focus, there we go. You can see right there where my wrench is. We're gonna get that one pulled out next. Just be prepared, there's a lot of Loctite on these bolts. All right, so this is your steering damper off of the bike. Um, this is just one, this one just works in a linear fashion. Uh, they aren't the greatest, they aren't adjustable, which is part of my reason for upgrading. You can see I've got another one off of a uh, 1290 here. I have done a video and I'll link it up in the corner. If you want to make, if, you know, if you want to retain this one and want to make it better, you can change out the oil and go something with a little bit heavier weight and or if it's got quite a few miles on it, replace it with the same weight oil and it will make it better. But I am going with a Scott's steering stabilizer, steering damper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these are some of the best in the market. It's got full adjustability. If you want to learn all the, about all the adjustability, uh, there's plenty of videos out there, but these adjust the sweep, which is how, how much you want it to adjust. Uh, Angle-wise, this adjusts the, uh, the, uh, the damping on if you want it. If, if, you want it uh, if you want more damping, you want less damping. And then you've got another adjuster here, which is the hard impact damper. So, you know, if you're coming in and you hit like a a big rock or whatever that's how much it kicks in early on to keep you straight so anyway uh, i had a spare actually i got a couple spares of these laying around these are not cheap i want to say they're around uh three four hundred dollars just for this unit but uh if you've got one um you know they are awesome and they are quite an upgrade over here so we're going to get this one put on the 890 now all right, so like I said, I am not the first owner of this bike. I'm the second owner, and the previous owner put a set of these Vanosh bar risers on, which are actually kind of nice because that will allow me to mount my Scotch steering damper right on here without having to buy anything additional. Now, they do, and I'll link this down in the description below. These are about 80 bucks. They do sell an entire kit that comes with everything you need to, to mount one of these, including the pen, which I'll get to here in a second. Uh, one thing to be aware of on your on your damper, you are going to have to have the arm in this way. Sometimes if you got them, it depends on your application, the bar may be flipped around, but let me show you the next thing we need to do before we can actually mount this. So like I said, you can get them you know, as an entire kit since this was already on here and I already had a Scotch damper. Next thing I needed was the pen tower kit. This is the Rottweiler one. Uh, I'll link this down in the description below, uh, but we're going to need this in order to connect the uh, the damper arm onto the bike, which is actually going to be pretty simple. Let me show you. So from the factory, we have a plug here on the frame that we're going to pop up out of there. It's just a little plastic plug. 
It's almost as if KTM thought when they made this, you might want to upgrade your steering stabilizer. So with that plug out of place, now uh, we're going to get our pin. And then this does thread down in here. We're going to get this lined up. Now, now we're going to work on getting our stabilizer on. Okay, so while I talked about the arm on here and the orientation it needs to be in, unfortunately, in order to make this work on a 790 or 890, you have to purchase a different arm. You need the plus eight millimeter arm. It's a little bit longer and it'll allow us to reach out and grab the uh, tower pin we just put in. Uh, big shout out to the guys at uh, uh, BRP. They were able to get this here in like uh, three days. So Now the unfortunate thing about this piece is it's about 48 bucks for one of these. So if you don't already have this size, just plan on spending it. Or like I said earlier, get the entire kit because some of the kits come with this size arm. What else we're gonna need is this little tool here in order to remove this arm. It's fairly straightforward. You could probably make one yourself. I think they retail for about 20 bucks. I happen to have one already. And then we'll also need a 15 millimeter socket. So we are going to remove this nut here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and position this back in place. Now. What we're gonna do with this tool is we have these three little set screws. We're gonna thread them down into the corresponding holes here, and then we'll take the big hex head and use that to press the arm off of the, uh, of the stabilizer. So let's get this done. So this uses a three millimeter hex. And then we'll use a six millimeter hex up top and just spin this. It should pop up off of here. There we go. And we're going to set that aside. Now we've got this set pin here, so we're going to use that to help us line this back up. And with any luck, we can start to thread this nut back on. We may have to press it down a little bit. Just make sure it's stepped in this fashion. All right, make sure you can get it started, and then once you make sure you can get it started, we're gonna use just a dab of Loctite on there to make sure this doesn't come loose. All right, we should be good, and just wanna check. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. All right, now we're ready to put it on the bike. One last thing real quick, make sure you hold on to this arm, the standard one, because this is what you're going to use in most applications, and since these things aren't cheap, make sure you put it in a safe place in case you need it for another application later. Alright, so with the tower pin in place, next we're going to grab our stabilizer, and we're just going to do a little test fit to make sure everything fits there right. Looks like it's going to sit on the tower pin properly, so I'm going to set that aside for a moment. We've got our... Uh, two Allen bolts or whatever yours came with. Uh, all my Scots have always had Allens. We're going to use a little bit of Loctite on them. Blue Loctite. I'm not using anything any tougher than that. Now we're going to set it back in place and then we're just going to drop these down in. Next up we'll grab our 5mm Allen or hex, whatever you want to call it, and get these started. And now we'll get them tightened down. All right, so with everything tightened down, I'm just going to stand the bike up. Make sure everything's smooth, nothing's binding. And we have an upgraded steering stabilizer on this 890 Adventure R now. And I'm really looking forward to trying it out. All right, guys, so that is how you remove the stock steering stabilizer on one of these 790, 890, 901 uh, KTM Husqvarna Adventure bikes. And that's also how you install an upgraded one. Now, in my case, I got off kind of cheap. All I had to buy, since the bar risers were already on there and I had a stabilizer sitting in the box, all I had to buy was the tower pin and the $50 arm. So I was in for about $100. If you're starting out from scratch, you're probably gonna be well above $500 because the stabilizer itself, they're going for about 360 now. Though check out the forums, check out Facebook Marketplace. You might be able to find one on there that's used that's a little bit cheaper. And they don't really wear out. The oil wears out in them, and you can replace the oil. It's fairly easy to do. They are rebuildable. But, you know, my recommendation would be if you're starting out from scratch, buy a kit. It will save you some money. In my case, I was able to do piecemeal because I already had some pieces. Is it worth the upgrade? 
Okay, so I haven't ridden this bike. I literally just uh, finished putting that stabilizer on there, but I do run one on my 990. I've run them on my dirt bikes, and for me, it's well worth it. Your mileage may vary. You can also look, HyperPro makes a stabilizer that mounts in the stock location that is adjustable, just not quite as adjustable on the fly. There are other options, but if you're not happy with your stock stabilizer, this is another option. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you wanna know what I think of the stabilizer now that it's on the bike, I've probably had a chance to ride the bike by the time you watch this video. Let me know down in the comment section. Maybe I'll even do a review on it. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.